Uh, I love guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is about how to uh, freeze the client. And yeah, let's just get right into it. And so, I actually found a, a dev forum post that yeah, tells you how to do it. And I'm just gonna tell you how to actually use it. So, um, this post is gonna be linked in the description. You can just open it and copy this code. Then go into your Roblox project. You can make in your script inside a character script and paste the code in here. And yeah. You can even actually remove this line so it isn't necessary to work. This will, uh, yeah. This will pretty much freeze your client, those few lines. And this is the time uh, how long you want uh, your client to be frozen. You can just change the number to let's say two seconds. And uh, you would now join a game, uh, join the start the project. Our client will be frozen. So for three seconds. Let's just try it out. Yeah, okay. Those were already the already three seconds, but if we just put the task grade in front, so um, yeah, it waits a little bit and then just freeze our client, you can see it better. So, yeah, now we are frozen and now we're back. And yeah, the code is actually pretty simple. All this does is just, um, yeah, overloads the CPU and measures the time that passed. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's really that useful, but I can't imagine it being useful for like, maybe time stops in JoJo games. But yeah, not really for anything else. But this was already the video. There's nothing more to say. Um, really simple code, just compare on with it, I guess. Nothing too special. Anyways, have a nice time. See you.